really excited to bring this product to market. Uh, it's the Ergo Flip. And my name is Annette Washington and I will that this has been a long four year journey in the process working alongside physiotherapists, botanists, doctors. Yes, this is the world's first uh, chair, ergonomic chair that actually integrates a dynamic surface. And that's what was recognised by the ABA. So if I could just demonstrate here that flipping the surface, the casing, to the motion cushion, what it actually does is create a dynamic surface which goes the health benefits of the fit for. So now you can actually take this chair to the reverse, and that's really encouraging the movement out there, especially in the wellness initiatives. However, we have a, um, a stool which allied health professionals and fitness professionals can also use for rehab, and it works in the same manner. So basically, you could start your patients on this seat, which I'll have Ryan um, explain further, on the conventional cushion. And as they progress, you can flip the cushion to the dynamic surface. And on that note, I'd like to um, introduce Ryan Bert. And Ryan, I'm sure a lot of you know <laughs> who Ryan is, is our therapist. And, uh, Co-founder of Pekin Shopping at Sydney University. And Ryan's done, um, has been a great supporter of Ergo Flip when he's actually conducted some trials. So if I could just have Ryan explain. Yeah, just Thank quickly, um, and for those who don't know me, so my name is Ryan Ebert. I look after uh, Boobers therapy activities um, as well as being co-founder of the National Occupational Physio Company. Um, and Dave Hall, you probably know him. He's the APA National President. He's my other co-founder with PHW, and I do lecture at Swinburne. We've been involved with this project for a fair while now, working with the guys at Ergo Flip. What we really like about it, especially with the PHW work that we do, is corporate office work. We know that sitting is very bad for our health. Um, for years now, they've been touting sitting with new smoking, sedentary movement. But we also know that there's a lot of risk with dynamic movement in the workplace. Uh, so we're seeing some chairs that have no stability whatsoever. So what we like about this one, we started to trial with a few of our clients and work in this space, is that we have the option for people who do want to be more movement with the cushion to do this, we don't lose any lumbar support. The stool we've also been using uh, in quite a booth that we have a neurological rehab clinic and we find that this is a really good progression from taking people with a stroke and rehabilitating them in sitting to moving them onto a fit ball but we find that this works really well in between where we can have a firm base then we can move to a bit of dynamic movement as we start some retraining and start that neuroplasticity and then we'll move to a fit ball.